Marty, Marty, wake up! Danger, danger! It's so early. What is it, Lactose? There's trouble in Fridgeland. The end times are here. Days come and go. Oceans ebb and flow. These are things that all of us know. But our dear little Marty always finds trouble. Sometimes his choices turn his world into rubble. Fear not, my friends, for you will see that Marty learns from every malady. One, two, three. That's me. I've never seen anything like it, Marty. All is lost. You are our only hope. There is no hope. It can't be stopped. She's right. Oh, it's too frightening. Too powerful. It's, it's true. true. We're, We're doomed. 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 Who's too powerful? Where's King Pickle? He's gone. It took him. What took him? The most ferocious creature to ever enter Fridgeland. A foul, rotten beast. It's smelly and slimy. Huge and frightening. Hideous. What kind of monster? Mr. Meat. He came from that skillet. Fridgeland is in danger. It is a mess. And our dear little Marty has a crime to confess. There is one little thing he forgot to do. Last night, he left out his leftover stew. Hiya, kids. I'm Bartholomew Bacteria. I love to get in your food and multiply. I don't like when food is too hot or too cold. Then, I can't multiply. But when someone leaves food out for a long time, it gives me lots of time to multiply and hang out with my other bacteria friends. Maybe you've heard of some of them. Salmonella, E. coli, botulism. When we get in your food and you eat it, we can make you really sick. You should never leave food out for more than two hours, unless you want us to come over. Marty's food sat out all night. The bacteria prospered while out of his sight. The meat went bad and formed a sinister plan. It crept out of the skillet and conquered Fridgeland. What can Marty do? What can he say? His conscience says he must save the day. No! Don't open it! It's too powerful. The only way you can stop it is with help from the Sears. Marty knew Avery Apple was right. The minds of the Sears can solve any plight. <laughs> Open up, Mr. Dumbwaiter. I must visit the intergalactic bathroom. How rude. See ya. All clever seers of time and space, come visit me in this place. Marty Mitchell. Our clever friend. What brings you to the intergalactic bathroom? There's trouble in Friesland. I left out some meat overnight. <gasps> it went bad. Really bad. I have to save Friesland and King Pickle. I need your help. We understand. We know exactly. What you must do. Do? Absolutely. You must find the Porto stomach. And all be solved. Stomach? The Porto stomach. A portable stomach. It will safely digest. The bad meat. Digest? What does that mean? Ah! <laughs> Howdy, folks! I'm being digested. Digestion is the process where your body takes the foods you eat and turns it into things your body needs to be healthy and strong. First, you chew up the food in your mouth where saliva that spit starts the process of breaking the food down into other things. After you swallow it, it slides down a long tube called the esophagus. It's a long tunnel that takes the food from your mouth to your stomach, where the fun really begins. Your stomach is full of something called gastric acid. 
This acid breaks down the food a lot. When that's done, the food slides into a really long tunnel called the small intestine. This is where the nutrients from your food are sent away into your body. Nutrients are good for you. They make you healthy. Whatever is left over goes into the large intestine where the water gets sucked out. And you know what's left then, kids? Well, that's right, poop. Digestion takes your food and makes it into good things for your body. Then it makes the rest into poop. Yeah! So the portal stomach can make Mr. Meat into poop? Precisely. Now you understand. The power of the porto stomach. So where can I find it? On Pancreas Island. In the land of gastros. Of course. Pancreas Island? How do I get there? No need to worry. Dear Marty. We'll take you there. Follow me. <sighs> Twisting and turning and twirling through space, will bring our dear Marty to a wondrous place. Watch where you're stepping! Who said that? Down here, Bigfoot! Whoa. Who are you? Don't you know anything? Or enzymes, you big interloper! And what? Interloper! It means you are an intruder! A stranger! No, the other word. Enzy... Enzy... Enzyme! Haven't you ever heard of an enzyme? We're super important! You are? Of course we are! Next to your stomach! There's an organ called the pancreas. That's where we are born. We break down your food into all the useful things your body needs, like protein, carbs, and fats. We're like the most important thing. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Nice to meet you. I'm Marty Mitchell. Oh, right. You're the one looking for the Porto stomach. Do you know where it is? Hold your horses, buddy. You gotta earn it. Earn it? What do I have to do? Calm down, giantess. I know you can handle it. The Porto stomach needs fuel. Like, gasoline? Where do I get- Stop, stop, stop! It's easy! We enzymes make the fuel, but we can't chew! That's where you come in! We need you to chew up the food so we can make it... into fuel! Chew? I'm good at that. There are a number of things Marty does very well. Dance, smile, await the school bell. But his topmost favorite thing to do is grab lots of food and chew, chew, chew. All aboard! We're ready to go, Marty! It's too big a task. He'll never do it. She's right. We're doomed. Doomed. Don't give up yet. Marty will... He made it! Frizzlanders, meet the enzymes and the portal stomach. We're here to save the day. Enough theatrics! Let's get to it! world of rotten meat and frigid despair. Will our hero Marty be able to stop the meat? Or will he and the enzymes encounter defeat? Welcome to my meeting. I hope you are proud. 
this is all thanks to you. I'm here to stop you, you big mean meat. <laughs> you, little Marty Mitchell, stop me. <laughs> I am the most powerful meat in the universe. Yeah, what are those things? Hi, I'm Miley. I'm a maggot. That means I'm a baby fly. Flies lay eggs and dead things like rotten meat. When the eggs hatch, maggots come out. We eat the dead meat and then grow up into flies. I know it sounds gross, but we are an important part of nature. We help get rid of rotting things that might make other animals sick. Some doctors use maggots to help people with really bad wounds. Fishermen often use maggots for bait. And we can help forensic scientists solve crimes. Unfortunately, Mr. Me and his maggots turn bad. Let's hope Marty can stop them. Where's King Pickle? Let him go! <laughs> I didn't do it alone. The enzyme saw. Thanks, guys. All in a day's work. Thanks to Mr. Meat, we enzymes should be able to power the porto stomach for a long time. Hooray for Marty! He saved the day! Now we must leave our dear friend Marty. It's plain to see there will be a party. Off you go to parties of your own. To your schoolwork, the swing set, the telephone. We'll see you next time for another exciting quest. Who knows what malady Marty will face next. Thank you.